Hello, and welcome to the Civil Rights Vocab Review. Remember, it's not just knowing all the vocab, it's mostly just knowing how do these terms connect and how do they lead to a bigger idea of history. So if you forget who Orville Fabius is, that's cool as long as you can talk about how, like in the 1960s, there were governors of these southern states who were actively working against um, integration, that they were part of this older um, group of Democrats that definitely did not see this progressive bent as being where they wanted to be. So if you know the proper nouns, that's good, but if you can talk about these themes of history, that's what's really important. So I'm going to go over a couple of terms that you may have forgotten. If you can sit down with this sheet and you could tell me what each of these things are, good, you got it. You can probably tell me like how everything is linked and you're good for both AP and STAR. If you can't, it'd be good to work on the proper nouns, but mostly on these like themes, like what's going on in these time periods. So, Orville Favius is the governor of Arkansas. He's the one with Little Rock Nine. Lester Maddox, he's the governor of Georgia, if I go to jail. George Wallace is the governor of Alabama who runs for president, the segregation forever guy. So do remember that, like, again, it's this, this idea that there are people that are very much against the civil rights movement. So remember that while we think Martin Luther King, we think Malcolm X, there's also this other bend going on. Billy Graham, you may have forgotten about, was a religious civil rights leader who's an advisor to presidents. He's the one that tells Eisenhower to send in the troops. He's also the guy that helps bail Martin Luther King out of jail several times. Uh, don't forget your civil rights acts, your voting rights acts, your affirmative action, things like this. Um, those are good things to remember, also to see you know, how litigation, how laws are helping. Um, Barry Goldwater is the guy that runs against Johnson in 1964. Um, Johnson is having this first modern campaign, the Daisy Girl, the, Gold, or the Goldwater for KKK commercials that we watch. Um, and so this is sort of this like trend of this like modern political movement that's happening. Uh, Title IX is with the women's liberation. Uh, Betty Friedan um, is giving more equal money to women's athletics. Uh, West Virginia versus Texas, Hernandez versus Texas are all of your uh, court cases as far as like funding for schools or integration of schools. Um, moving into the other side of the 60s with the Vietnam War, you should all know all these words. Don't forget uh, on your your star, Roy Benavidez, is uh, one of the key people that you need to know. Um, he's the soldier who receives um, various accommodations. Um, as far as like other things that you may need to know, uh, Jack Kerouac writes on the road. He's part of that beat generation. The ERA is the Equal Rights Amendment, um, sponsored by Betty Friedan, by other people, um, but which is taken down by Phyllis Schlafly and others who do not want this Equal Rights Amendment for women. And you probably forgot about the Alliance for Progress. Um, this is part of the Latin American foreign policy. We briefly talked about this with Cuba. This is part of a program to, like, one, defeat communism, because remember, containment is still the name of the game. Um, but also, it's part of this, like, history of Latin America. So we had, you know, the big stick diplomacy with uh, Teddy Roosevelt. We had the dollar diplomacy with Taft. We had the moral diplomacy with Wilson. This is another one of these programs that's basically trying to give Latin America money to have them progress, i.e. come up to a uh, more economical standard, things of this nature, but also to keep communism out. So hope that that helped. If there are other terms that you're not sure about or not sure how they connect or you're just very confused about the 50s and 60s, come talk to me and good luck.